All right, so here he is, Justin Gaethje, the lightweight contender. Many fancy him a future UFC champion, but it's just been amazing to watch this guy seamlessly transition to the UFC, one headlining spot after the next. More bonuses than UFC fights. This might be the most exciting fighter in the world today. He is the most exciting fighter in the world. He's a guy that when you put him at the top of the marquee, people show up. People want to watch Justin Gaethje compete because you know you're almost watching a we go to these videos on YouTube and all these other things because we want to see action. Don't worry about that. Get on your PlayStation, choose Dustin Gaethje as your character, and it's going to be fun. In real life, in video games, Justin Gaethje is one straight highlight. Yeah, you want bulletproof matchmaking, just throw Justin Gaethje in the main event against anybody and he'll take care of the rest. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31 with some differences in height and a similar reach. We go inside Ladies the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for you. striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees flop. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. These guys throwing early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. 
huge block there. Nice punch by Gaethje. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. There's no tell on that leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, perfect head kick there. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Throwing that jab, no good. Well placed knee to the body. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje, and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting that as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. Gaethje gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Punch coming, it's blocked. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Clipped him with the right hand there. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Punches block. Right on the button. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Another strike to the head lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he caught the kick. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Give her those kicks. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, that kick is good by Gaethje. Oh, beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC today. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful when he strikes. Nice straight punch. Big head kick lands. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. I mean, look at the commitment he takes in this fight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lands with the right hand. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Gage, she's punched to the body. Looked pretty good, but ultimately it gets blocked by the defense. Nice job there. Wait, 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 All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Head kick lands. 
Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Liv. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, big punch land. Beautiful leg kick. Point. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps winning. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's doing that jab. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. What a body kick. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. What a tricky head kick. Just out of range with that strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively, he's been strong today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Punch over the top. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. That's a big strike right there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Gaethje's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Ooh, big shot, man. Body kick now by Gaethje. 15 seconds to go. Lee gets plastered by that uppercut. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding these shots, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him.
All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness of volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Real nice body kick land. Gaethje gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's tough, but you just don't want to absorb too many more of those. Oh, big head kick land. Unable to land on the uppercut there, but now starting to use that reach advantage. Yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times at the end of the night. You got a little excuse with that. Yes, too. I do. Horrible. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight. and. Largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Ooh, what a head kick. All right, so oh, oh, so I've never seen. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his team right now. Three minutes to go in round three. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. That one's in. Nice strike. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much. Oh! Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh, he's got him hurt here. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Get the turtle in that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back and forth we go here! He blocks the punch. Nice punch lands over the top. with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. And that one certainly found the target. It's very tricky to throw that body kick. Lee going for the head kick. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his arm started to go low. But now he's got to hurt very badly. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. That's one of his solid charges. It's always been the leg kicks are just to the body by Lee. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, huge kick to that lead leg. Both guys landing with conviction now.
mixes it up nicely in terms of staying. What a round. Oh. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Oh, that's a nice strike. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. It's a good right hand right there. Nice leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Gaethje. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice. Nice. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, big head kick there. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch lands through the middle. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Real quick leg kick. Big kick land. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very bad position. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Lee gets hit with a kick. Shot to the body here, blocked by Gaethje. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Great punch landed with so much power. He gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, a huge block there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, 
Nice job by Gaethje to land and then roll with the punches. We talk a lot about his legendary chin, but maybe he doesn't get enough credit for the striking defense and his ability to move that head off the center line. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Gaethje gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip, as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you gotta think at some point the doctor's gonna get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is gonna be stopped. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, he will start to see it taking effect. Good one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. It's such a fast leg kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice leg kick lands. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Out of range with that kick attempt. Gaethje gets touched by that kick to the body. Big head kick lands. Lee gets touched by that kick there. All right, lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Side kick. And they separate. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Big leg kick land. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. What a punch. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big head kick. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Lee gets hit with a kick. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, Risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Dude, what a punch. Gaethje gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now... Oh, the kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Connects with a right. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice head kick. 
All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Big kick lands. Under one minute remains in round oh. five. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. That shot blocked by Gaethje. Powerful leg kick lands. What? What? Oh. Scores. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over. Goes that kick. Slips. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Some real Oh! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the strike. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah.